Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Let's get into this and see what's going on. Okay, you're starting with open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay, I feel like you've got that over the weekend, didn't you? Um, or on Thursday. So let's take a look. Virgo, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay, so you've got the hanged man. So there's Pisces energy there. It looks like Virgo, you might be in like this position. You've been waiting for someone to come in or waiting really just for love to come into your life. Um, and you've been patient and it looks like you've been trying to make the best of things and, and try to see things from a different angle um, as far as like getting a better perspective on what you are looking for, what you want in your life. Um, I feel like maybe you need to open your heart up a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I feel like there might be an energy here of hmm, kind of still deciding what you're looking for in love or maybe the type of relationship you would like to have. Um, I do see that you're at a little bit of a crossroads, so you may be feeling like, hmm, maybe I should just give up on the whole love thing. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, with this person here on the two of wands holding this gift, I'm going to show you, hold on, as I'm holding this gift in their hand, it's like you have so much to offer Virgo. And you know you do, but you might be feeling like I have all this to offer and there's nobody like you're waiting. You're you're it, it does look like you're ready, though, you know, um, but you might be getting a, a little bit like, well, I don't see anything here that's like tired of waiting, but I, I kind of feel like you're like, how much more can I open up my heart? Look at how he stands here with this gift. Like, I'm ready for partnership. And that's with this two, and like the two wands, like someone who's like-minded. You're ready. You're waiting for sure to have partnership in your life. You're doing the work. You're putting in the effort, you know. Um, let me see. This opening up your heart energy, though, to attract more love. Maybe you're trying to attract by giving gifts, that kind of thing. Like, in other words, it's kind of, yeah, it kind of gives me this sense of like, okay, I'm standing here. Here's the gift that I have to offer, but maybe it's more material. Um, you might have maybe an old mindset of, you know, uh, material things will attract is what you need to do to attract the right person um but you might still have a closed heart you know so i feel like there might be a protection mechanism playing out here for you yeah a little bit of that going on let me see here i mean i, I do like i do get this sense and i'm not calling anybody out I'm not saying you know it's it's a negative or anything but there there may be a virgo here that's like um kind of like well if i i feel like give material gifts um if i work really hard i'm making all this money i show someone hey i've got this great place i've got this wonderful car i've got this magical job that should be enough I, i'm a good catch and those are great achievements for yourself but i don't feel like that's really spirit is saying that's not the best way to attract love because those things can be gone in an instant you know what i mean um opening up the heart and coming from that place of love and not from a particular <laughs> um item i feel like they're trying to say is the way to attract love okay and how is that by being loving by being compassionate by being by smiling or just smiling you know um i feel like the best love is found when um uh, we're not lo looking at um uh, other people's you know their attachments what they have attached to them you know because it isn't it true like you could you could marry a millionaire and they could be like an absolute jerk like money isn't everything so um 
maybe that's something that you did in the past and um, maybe you some of you are coming to realize that you can't buy anybody's love and and another person might be realizing that they can't buy your love either okay so let's see is there I feel like that's a, a strong message for you Virgo like on a personal spiritual level but also another person and and with the hanged man it feels like okay let me look at this differently you know uh let me let me look and see um you know acts of service gift giving these are all love languages um i don't know if it's yours it could be um somebody else it might be theirs and they might be coming to realize as well i can't buy virgo's love giving gifts and paying their bills or doing all these things are great but I feel like this, if we're talking about another person here, and specifically a Pisces, doesn't have to be, but that this person is like, wait a minute, there is more to Virgo than what Virgo can buy for me or offer to me, you know, um, money, material things. Okay, so I do see a little bit of conflict this week, though. Let's take a look and see. Okay, got the chariot and the ace of wands and that ace there's that's like a that's not a wand that that's more like an icicle here. <laughs> um, there is a travel situation happening this week and you know with the holidays everybody's traveling or visiting there might be some kind of conflict in regards to that and I feel like there might be like uh, a delay in travel um maybe there's like they have to de-ice somebody has to de-ice so there might be some bad or inclement weather in regards to a travel so i i feel like there's a little bit of um travel disruption or some conflict or just some snow on the road or some challenges this is more so what i want to say okay this week that seems to be yeah definitely some delays with the nine of wands and maybe trying to rethink something or having to find a different uh either route route um or uh take a different type of transportation maybe like waiting for the bus instead um there might be like the car is not gonna go through these the snow or this weather and let me go to the bus stop and wait for the bus or the train or you know whatever it might be that energy is playing out for either you or another person we do a cancer here okay also have the devil hmm tricky little tricky tricky okay you've got the page of cups as well hmm so what's going on here capricorn energy let me see hmm okay so when it comes to this travel scenario, scenario they're saying that um, uh, <laughs> another gift coming through. Um, somebody might, so if you have to travel, uh, it looks like maybe a refund or somebody's going to give you some money or um, help pay for something or help find another way to get somewhere um, by way of like money. Uh, like here I'll take care of it or um, you know I'll pay for an extra ticket or I'll extended stay or something like that either doing it for you or you doing it for somebody else um, they're just saying the devil's in the details I don't know exactly what that means but there are some details that maybe you overlook or something that somebody overlooks as far as travel this week so there may be an apology, uh, like somebody says, oh, I didn't, you know, I, I booked or um, I, I booked a ticket or I made plans to go to this particular place and I screwed up and, you know, th there's some kind of challenge to travel this week, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, if you're expecting a visitor or if you are the one who's visiting um it, they're saying to be a little bit more prepared or to to be prepared for a delay of some sort okay and you also have judgment so we've got scorpio energy there there is the eight of swords and the magician 
Wow. Okay, so there is an energy here of someone. We have Gemini too. There's an energy of somebody kind of like feeling really mentally stuck, but freeing themselves from this, this mental um, isolation or sense of feeling trapped or that kind of energy. And it looks like someone is going to try to make some type of reconciliation happen really try to manifest it this week in some way there might be like uh somebody here on the borderline of like anxiety or stress coming up and they're trying not to get themselves all worked up over some kind of like it could be like inability to do something because something might not work out like some kind of stress now is it related to that travel thing it could be or um, any other kind of situation where somebody feels trapped. But I have to tell you, with the magician here, I feel like it's going to work out. Um, whoever this situation is being applied to, it's going to work out. Whether it's you or another person or someone you connected to, things are going to manifest. It's going to happen. Okay? It's going to be like, you know, we're going to break out all the tools, everything we need to try to make this reconciliation happen. Okay? So... Not a bad thing. Okay, we've got the death card. We've got Scorpio energy again. And the six of cups. And the king of cups. Okay. So, what's going on here? You've got a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Um, there's going to be some kind of reunion. Or uh, somebody putting something in behind them. Uh, putting something in the past and renewing something a relationship there's kindness um, having a new beginning possibly with a water sign it doesn't have to be their son that could be anywhere in their chart but the king of cups does come across as someone who is very kind patient compassionate wise doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve but is someone who is um, mature and secure healthy in that way so there is going to be something ends and a new beginning starts with someone from the past yeah uh, i have to say it it's it, there's something about old memories and possibly even like an apology or just a kind gesture that's made towards you this week okay so let me see Anything else Spirit wants you to know? Let's take a look at anything else that Spirit wants Virgo to know. Opening up your heart this week, Virgo. Be happy. Smile. Think positive thoughts in love and life. Let's see. Anything else for Virgo? Okay. Wow, you've got strength. Good. Self-confidence feeling free so your energy this week despite it all <laughs> whatever's going on i know it's a hustle and bustle this week coming up but lots of adventure new beginnings a fresh new start positivity courage self-confidence strength new communication overcoming any kind of obstacles uh cutting through all the bs the fog clears no matter what is going on there's going to be victory and communication and a positive outcome i feel like for this week um so yeah it looks really good it looks really really positive for you 